you determine where they where you want them? Or um, they there's of... there's a chart in here that gives you a, a starting point, but I've I've and it's one of their techniques that they describe it as well. But if you set up your radio, turn on your radio, um, you can take this this banana plug and and just slide it down the coil, and you get max the place where you get maximum noise. That's where you want to put the tap. And then you can fine tune the SWR by changing the length. Changing the length. If if the SW if the sweet point is too low, in other words, if you look on your meter and the SWR on the low end of the band is pretty good, um, and it's on the high end of the band is too high. Let's see, lengthen to lower it and raise or shorten it to raise it. Right. So. Anyway, the bottom line is that it, once you find the hot spots on the coils, then um, you can fine tune it by the length uh, length adjustment. Just like a tuner, you know, you can sit sit there and tune it until you get a most noise and then go. Exactly, it. same same principle. <clears throat> but this afternoon, matter of fact, I'm, when I go back, I'm gonna um, get get my uh, backpack out, and I'll, I'll use one of these guys. As a vertical um, for my pedestrian mobile, and because I'm just going to wander around this afternoon and see how many uh, polar bears I can work. There's a kind of like a polar bear roundup going on this afternoon, and uh, and I discovered the trick with that once again is having that elevated radio. It seems to work pretty good, um, but I haven't I haven't taught Rooster yet how to um, keep the other end, up. not eat the other end. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, one day I was on I was on Mount Hermon, and uh, I got not, I spent the night. Woke up early. I, I got out, made a cup of coffee, and climbed back in the tent because the tent was warmer than the outside. It was just a slight breeze, and it must have been about I don't know 15 degrees outside, but it was a nice toasty 25, 30 degrees in the tent. So I, I well, I mean, it's you know when you've got a sleeping bag in your dress for it's not bad. Anyway. Um, I got on 40 meters, and I was working some guy up in Nebraska, and uh, all of a sudden the SWR start, you know, the, the screen starts flashing high SWR. I thought, what the heck's going on? Then the, the light bulb went on, and I thought, where are the goats? <laughs> so I stuck my head out. Sure enough, Peanut was sitting right over where the end of the radio was. And she went away, and by the time I got over there, he had eaten about 11 feet off the end of uh, the 33-foot um, counterpoise. Fortunately, the wire, though, was, uh, that I used was almost like tin foil inside, like speaker wire. Uh, it was made of a foil. And about two days later, there was all these little silver berries. <laughs> <in his goat. laughs> so, yeah, but they're... They're great. They're fun animals. They're uh, great companions. My wife has got bad arches and she doesn't like to hike. Um, so the only thing we do together, so to speak, is, is ride horses. Um, but I love to, to pack and hike and that sort of thing. And these guys are just perfect for that. They're, they're uh, my tra best trail buddies ever. First video I saw of it, 